LDAP Firewall is an open source tool from Zero Labs, which lets you control and audit LDAP requests to protect domain controllers, mitigate LDAP based attacks, and tightly control access to Active Directory. The tool is available on the Zero Networks Git repository and is also available as a feature as part of our flagship product, Zero Networks Segment. In this video, we will focus on showing the open source version of the LDAP Firewall. The LDAP Firewall Manager executable is used to start, stop, and control the tool. Using the help flag, we can see all the available commands. The status command will help us make sure all prerequisites are met and that the tool is ready to be installed. Before we do that, let's check out the firewall configuration file. The first section specifies a list of rules in a similar fashion to a classic firewall. Each rule can be defined with a list of conditions such as operation, source IP, and user, and an action to take, either allow or block. We can also define LDAP-specific fields such as the distinguished name, attribute, and search filter. During an incoming LDAP operation, the first match rule action applies. If no rule matches, the operation will be allowed by default. The suppress audit section disables audit events for specific LDAP operations. By default, search operations do not get logged as they can be quite noisy, but can be enabled by removing the entry from the list. Now that we are ready to start the firewall, let's run the install command. We can use the Windows LDAP tool on another host to run some LDAP queries and check out the tool in action. Here, we will perform a modify operation in order to change the display name of an existing user. If we open the event viewer on the server, we will see new source for LDAP firewall and in it, a logged event for the modify operation. The event includes fields such as the user account name, the action took by the firewall, LDAP operation data, and also network information. Let's check out how we can use the LDAP firewall to block a real world attack. The SAM account name spoofing attack relies on adding a new computer entity using LDAP. To mitigate it, we can create a new rule for LDAP firewall to block all incoming add operations. Now, let's reload the LDAP firewall configuration by running the update command. To simulate the attack, we will use the LDAPer tools add computer command, which will fail thanks to LDAP firewall. Back on the server, we can now see the blocked event in the event viewer. Of course, in a real environment, we might need to be more specific with our rule conditions. For example, we can permit specific IPs to perform add requests by adding allow rules before our block rule. Finally, if we want to remove the LDAP firewall protection, we can simply use the uninstall command. We hope that this video has been informative and helps you get started with using the LDAP firewall. If you have any questions about the LDAP firewall or any of our other open source tools, check out our blog at zeronetworks.com blog or reach out to us at support at zeronetworks.com.